Come on, dude. Let's go. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to One Track Mine. We're almost halfway through my list as we're counting down my top 10 of 2023. Today I've got a short but nasty little line to share with you guys. It's coming out of the depths of Nevada. And if you've been following this series, you've seen a lot of footage coming out of Nevada. And that's simply because, well, Nevada kicks ass. I could sit here and talk all day about that, but that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about my number six line from last season. And the story picks up right here. Well, this is just classic Nevada forecast for three days of sunshine. Um, we had a little sun this morning, which was nice, but uh, you can see below me here, got this pretty tasty looking couloir, but uh, in the cloud, in the clag, low vis. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, what the hell does clag mean? Well, this is a term I picked up from my Canadian buddies who deal with clag all the time. Put it simply, clag is just another word for cloudy. Woo. What a beauty up here. All right, I had to do a little fact check on myself. So I'm looking it up here, and the term appears to come from Great Britain, meaning thick and sticky. So when applied to the sky, I suppose it works, but I'm getting way off track. The real reason I bring this up is every trip we've done to Nevada so far, we've dealt with multiple days of clag. But it is fully clagged. Clag. Fully clagged. Canyon clagged. Fully clagged in. All right, that's my rant on clag. It's unavoidable and one of many variables of living and recreating in the mountains. So what are you gonna do? Go skiing, of course. When you show up to a new mountain range, it takes some time to get a lay of the land and get comfortable. We like to start on smaller slopes and get a feel for the snow. And in this case, it was straight up pow. It was definitely the best conditions we've ever experienced in Nevada. We were looking for more though. We began poking around and found some really cool terrain, but continued to battle with the clag. Yeah, dude. Luckily, we got some narrow windows of visibility that allowed us to shred. So sick. Yeah, brother. Our fourth day in, it went full pole meaning blue skies and sunshine. In the previous three days, we'd done our homework, so we know exactly where to strike. This first line was super unique. It caught our eye from a distance, because it had all these spiny little sandstone features on it. When we got to the top, the rocks were barely covered in snow, which made them super sketchy to be jumping off. But still, it was super fun to rip turns in and around these little cliffs. Alright, now for the main event. I'd seen this line the day before and it immediately spoke to me. This technical little air into this tight chute looked sporty and right up my alley. Five, four, From the top three, it was intimidating. Two, the entrance one, air was drop. small but blind. The landing had to be perfect. Not to mention I'd be racing my slough. Probably the scariest part of this line was the snow. The line had been affected by both sun and wind, making for some variable, unreliable conditions. Okay, now for the POV, which I think does this line way better justice. Buddy. Was that fun? It didn't sound like you had fun. Woo! That was terrifying. Man, the snow is garbage. Complete garbage. Uh, like a punchy sun crust. So I'm like trying not to go over the bars as my slough's chasing me. Then like air into the chute, slough beat me there, through the white room, boom, right into it. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit. All the variables of this line made it pretty scary. 
but pretty memorable too. And that's really what bumped it into my number six at 183. With that, it's another episode of One Track Mind. I hope you guys enjoy the episode and stay tuned next week as I have a special one coming from Lake Tahoe. It's a special day. Finally poking into his own. I've wanted to ski for the last decade.